today's video, I have for you the top five best loadouts to be using right now after the Warzone Haunting event update. If any of these loadouts do help you out, be sure to click that thumbs up button. It'll help others find this video. And if you guys are brand new and you want to see more content from this guy, Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications down. Without further ado, let's get into the first loadout. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the broken shotgun out of the way, the Lockwood 300. Now, if you have the Doom bundle, you obviously have the build already. You can't even edit it or anything. So throw this on, you're good to go. But for those of you who don't have this, I'll give you the build that you should be using. First, we have the Maelstrom Dual Trigger. This is literally what makes a lock with 300 so broken. You get to fire both of your shots at the exact same time. You could see the damage increase. It's unbelievable. And then I tuned it for aimed on sight speed and sprint to fire speed. You're firing one shot. You should not be tuning this for recoil control. It literally wouldn't make any sense. I have on the Saken DB107 muzzle. I simply threw this on because you get bullet velocity and damage range. And that's going to extend the one shot, one kill potential to longer ranges. That's exactly what you want. So... We have that on and we tuned it for aimed on sight speed and bullet velocity again we're just staying away from recoil control aiming idle stability it's so irrelevant for this build we then threw on this barrel here once again more damage range and more bullet velocity so that's obviously why i threw it on and then i tuned it for damage range and aim walking speed we have on the vlk laser i'm aiming down sights with this all the time so um, i feel like that just really helps out with the one shot one kills because of the the pellet spread as well it's so much tighter when eds and then sprint to fire allows the weapon to come up quicker after sprinting and i tuned this for sprint to fire and aim down sight speed so i just tuned it for what the pros were and then my final attachment is the heist stock mod and this just gives you a huge increase in mobility so you can get up close and personal in the enemy's faces and you cannot tune this attachment if you're not using this man you're just going to run into it and get super upset. So I highly recommend having this equipped at most times. For our second loadout, we have what I believe to be the number one long range meta weapon in Warzone, the Cast Off 762. It was recently nerfed, but it doesn't change anything. It's still the number one go to long range weapon. Starting off 40 round mag. If this was a 60, I mean, don't even get me started. It would be ridiculous, but this is the largest magazine we could throw on. It'll help us take out multiple enemies without having to reload. We have on the best underbarrel for any long range weapon, the FTAC Ripper 56, a huge increase in your accuracy. I sadly can't show you guys the tunings because they disabled it for whatever reason, but just tune it for recoil control on both sides and you should be good. You could see it's tuned, but the option's literally gone. Honestly, just, just, just remove tuning. Anyways, moving on, we have our third attachment, the Saken Tread 40 muzzle. You get vertical and horizontal recoil control. I, this just makes it a laser beam. Zero recoil, it'll help you land a lot more of your shots, and that'll lead to a faster time to kill. We have on the Cast 10 584 barrel, we get damage range and bullet velocity from this. And once again, this will make it kill a lot quicker at longer range engagements. The tuning on this is recoil, steadiness, and damage range. And then I have my new favorite optic, the SZ Recharge. You're able to see a lot better. It's just super clean and clear. And then tuning on this is close, so I can see things a lot better visually. And then the slider on the left, we did aim down sight speed. We could take this thing to the firing range, and you'll, you're going to see, I mean, it literally just does not move. Super accurate. The time to kill is incredible. I mean, again, this is the number one long range weapon by a mile. For loadout number three, we have the Lockman sub, which was actually recently nerfed it's no longer the number one meta smg but it is a very very close contender and we'll cover the meta smg after this one so with this we got the 40 around mag i think 50 is a little od i don't really need it if you miss some of your shots or you feel like you need it go ahead and rock it i think 40 is just perfect for me we have what makes the mp5 the mp5 what makes it just so damn good the hollow point rounds when you fire one of these bullets at an enemy they can't sprint they're slowed down the gunfight's over you gotta have these on the tuning on this we did damage range and bullet velocity which increases the damage on these things we then have on the falcon barrel where we get movement speed and even on sight speed so this will just help you get up close and personal with the enemies land the first shot put those hollow point rounds to good use and the tuning on this is recoil steadiness and aimed on sight speed we have on the vlk laser quick and snappy with the shots weapons up and ready to go with that aimed on sight speed and sprint to fire and i tuned it for exactly that and then my final attachment is the ft mobile stock which just gives you a huge increase in mobility sprint speed aim walking speed that's every gunfight you're strafing back and forth every single time with it aimed on sight speed and then i just fully dedicated the tunings to mobility because this entire attachment was dedicated to being fast and quick and then we can bring this into firing range again it was nerfed but 
it's almost just not even noticeable. You guys can see it's just beyond accurate. It's so stupid. So, so good. I love it so much. From loadout number four, we have what is the brand new meta SMG in Warzone, the Bass P. This is also the same setup and weapon that I used to break my PR in Warzone, that being 44. So we got the 50 round drum, so we could take out multiple enemies without having to reload. The base is 30, the other option is 20, so you have no choice but to throw this on. We then have on the Bruin Pendulum Muzzle, where you get a huge increase in your recoil control from the vertical and horizontal recoil control. The tunings on this are recoil, stabilization, and recoil control. This is gonna help you land so many more of your shots, and that'll lead to a faster time to kill. We have the Bruin Drake Barrel, where it's basically a movement barrel, similar to our Lockman Sub. Movement speed, aimed on sight speed, and I tuned this for recoil steadiness and aimed on sight speed speed i mean it's quite literally the exact same tuning and barrel that we had on our lockman sub we have the vlk laser same reasons i threw it on as i did on lockman sub and i tuned it the exact same way and then our final attachment is the bruin flash v4 stock once again this is basically the ft mobile stock we had on our mp5 once again tuned it the exact same way super quick easy build to go over because the build is similar and then doesn't move ctk is incredible it has very very good range not to mention i mean you have so much mobility with it and that's what makes it the brand new meta smg in this game if you're not using this bro i'm telling you you are seriously missing out and then for our fifth and final loadout i decided to include the m4 it's a weapon i recently uploaded i thought it felt incredible especially after they buffed it and again it's good or reliable you could always fall back to this thing no matter what so we got the 60 round mag on so you could take out multiple enemies without having to reload especially at those longer ranges this this will definitely be needed again the best under barrel for any long range we weapon in warzone the f tac ripper 56 just look at the increase in accuracy it's unbelievable again the tuning's messed up for under barrel so i can't even show you what it is but just tune it for recoil stabilization and then recoil control well the harbinger muzzle i simply threw this on for the bullet velocity and damage range it'll it'll increase the ttk make it so much stronger and a lot more reliable i tuned it for recoil smoothness and bullet velocity so if you get recoil control and to get range those things go hand in hand you want to be more accurate at those longer ranges i threw on the high tower 20 inch barrel damage range bullet velocity tuned it for recoil steadiness and damage range the combination of the muzzle and the barrel is so so good it's what makes the m4 so reliable and then once again the best optic at least in my opinion the sz recharge i tuned it for close and then aimed on sight speed quickly bring this thing to the firing range and here you're gonna see thing doesn't move great ttk Again, all reliable. And regardless of any of these five loadouts you choose, my tactical, lethal, and perks all stay the same. So we have the smoke grenade so we can rotate, get ourselves out of sticky situations. I got the throwing knives to finish uh, down enemies. I don't got to waste ammo on it. And then my go-to perk package, I have double time. I'm, I'm an aggressive player. I want to get around the map a lot more quickly. I got overkill because I always have a long range and a close range. Fast hands, you're just not playing Call of Duty without fast hands. Things are way too slow. Reloading, swapping weapons, it sucks. And then I have high alert, so I know when someone's looking at me. The time to kill is so quick in this game. I mean, you're going to be down before you even know it. So having this on really helps you just stay alert. And those are the top five loadouts that you should be using during the haunting event. Let me know what weapons that you would have included in this that I may have forgot. And I'll see you all in the next upload. Only if you guys are subscribed with those notifications on. All right, you guys all stay safe. Have a great day and I'm out. Peace.